Welcome to JMeta Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss duration assertion. Okay. If you click on this add assertions duration assertion. Okay. So what is this duration assertion? Means duration assertion verify each response time whether sample response will receive within specified duration in milliseconds. Okay. Means duration assessment what it will do it will verify particular samples okay, this is a sample HTTP request I am using particular sample response time so once you executed these samples it will send request to the server and the server which, uh, it will take some time to provide response in the form of web page which contains HTML, XML, different different resources, right? For loading all those resources, it will take time from the server to the main window. Means if you are browsing, like a Facebook.com, if you are opening, it will take some time, right? While loading, then it is when you are logging into your uh, Facebook account, then it will take some time to load your home page, okay? Uh, images. So everything it will take some time. Your profile details. Okay, everything so so that what are the time it has taken to complete one request that response time is going to measure here okay we are verifying that particular response suppose so as per requirement my HTTP request one request or web page should load in particular some milliseconds so as per requirement client requirement this is my requirement so how you can test whether my web page is loading in within specified time so at that time you can use this duration assertion okay suppose i am giving 300 milliseconds which is in the form of milliseconds see. duration in milliseconds it is here mentioning duration in milliseconds okay i am giving 300 milliseconds so let's see how much time it will take to load this http request which is coming data from the csv dataset config okay So let's uh, here it will display assertion results for this one. So what are the assertion it is taking? The verif for verification we are using assertions. That result will be display whether it could be a pass or fail. And if it is pass, it will display the result. If it is fail, it will display the result. Okay. Now let's uh, run. So I have given us 300 milliseconds as a durations. Within this duration, my HTTP request samples response should be display okay let's run our uh, sample see it has giving as a fail why because see duration assertion is fail why duration assertion error false assertion failure true see, error means it is not giving any error like HTTP status 404 HTTP 500 internal server errors so like this so assertion failure message why it got failure the operation lasted too long it took 735 milliseconds but should not have lasted longer than 300 milliseconds i have given as 300 milliseconds but it has taken 735 milliseconds so as per your requirements your uh, client requirement is got failed because of this 300 milliseconds and actually it is given as 735 milliseconds so in this one developer what he will do he will uh, check verify why it has taken some time like uh, additional resources means number of javascripts number of css files okay instead of uh, using different different css file js file jquery files what they will do they will merge those jquery some every file into one single file okay css for one single file if it is maintaining multiple css file they will maintain in one single file only so at that time what will happen the resources download time it will take very less then it will take 7 300 milliseconds so let me give you i am taking as a 800 milliseconds let's see what will happen so i am taking 800 milliseconds okay let's uh, run this one let's save and run 
no it got fail why it got fail it has taken 1191 millisecond means it is increasing i am given as 800 milliseconds so it is got fail right let me increase more time i will take 1500 milliseconds let's see what will happen now it got passed why it was passed see youtube tutorial dot html which is loaded under this particular duration 1500 milliseconds see i will show you where it has given so load time is a 690 milliseconds it has taken 690 milliseconds only in previous it has taken 1.50 milliseconds right? now it has taken 690 milliseconds so like this you can use duration assertion so in order to verify your particular stp sample response time okay now coming to here it will say main samples and sub samples suppose i am using this is a main sample list i want to use sub samples here you can use sub samples you will get a, some is to be request default not here so let me add this one let add from assertion samples is to be same is to be request you will add it will add so what will happen suppose sometimes it will add while re after recording after recording it will add some resources under this resources it will add okay so at that time what will happen that will become as a sub samples now is a main samples okay so like this it, you can use this samples request with the help of duration in milliseconds okay thank you thank you for watching mean my next video we will see how to this one is done right how to use this size assertion in j meter okay thank you thank you for watching my video so this is very important assertions part so don't miss it in the videos okay thank you please provide your valuable comments on this video